Today I'm going to show you how to use your iPad as a second screen or second monitor in just a few easy steps. Stick around. If you're like me and you need at least two screens minimum to do any sort of work, Personally, I do a lot of editing, so I do need at least two screens. And I do travel quite often, so like bringing an extra screen isn't really practical. So I kind of just deal with the one. But did you know that you can actually use your iPad as a second screen and it's really, really easy to do it? Two things to cross check. Make sure you are on a steady Wi-Fi connection. And also make sure that both your iPad and your MacBook are up to date on their software updates. Let's switch over to my MacBook and I'll do a screen share so you can see what I'm talking about. First step, you're gonna go to this little Apple icon and click System Preferences. You're gonna click the Add Display tab to the drop down menu and pick your iPad. Mine is the iPad Air. And then you can automatically see the iPad Air pop up and you can arrange it just like any normal monitor. So let's arrange mine to the right side. And now you can see that I'm basically just using it as a second monitor. And that's how easy it is. It used to be a lot harder before and also the older programs like Duet used to have a latency. I think there was an earlier program called Astro or Astro Dog or whatever and that was super laggy. Now you can actually use the pencil on Photoshop and the latency and the lag isn't horrible and annoying. I mean that lag isn't bad at all. One other thing that I thought that was really cool is that you can keep using it as a regular iPad while not losing the connection from being a second monitor. Basically, you're just able to toggle back and forth seamlessly from iPad mode to being a second monitor, which is awesome. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Just a short and sweet video for you. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.